And we're off. We're headed to St. Charles for the Legends and Lanterns Halloween festivities. And my friend Jennifer is one of the three witches from the Shakespeare thing. You know, the bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. And no, I did not bring Toby with me. I have decided that I don't want to leave him in the car for a length of time. Uh, because I don't know how people would, you know, people might break the window or who knows. I don't, I don't want to do that. And I haven't typed up his information on a piece of paper yet either. But we're headed to St. Charles, Main Street, St. Charles, first capital of Missouri. Most of the buildings are from like the 1700s, early 1800s. Sorry that the lighting is so wonky. I guess unless something happens between here and there, the next time you see me, I will be there. I'm wearing my baby shirt. Say Frank, and the uh, logo was made by Stefan G. Bucher. I'll put the links down below. That's the start of the Katy Trail. It used to be a, a train tracks, and that is the Missouri River. This is St. Charles County. You may see people with masks, and you may see people without masks. Up until recently, you didn't have to have a mask. They urge you to have one now, but a lot of people still do not. <laughs> the cat in the bush. That's a restaurant where Bear and I had our first date. It's a really good restaurant. Lewis and Clark's. So if you're in St. Charles and things are back open every, the way they should be in a, in a year at least, that's a place to go. The <laughs> Day of Los Muertos. He's been waiting a long, long time. We're not done. You see, he, he took out our incantations, our spells, our grocery list even, and put it right in this silly little place about the Scottish king who didn't listen to us very well. Right, you happen to know his name. And it's not MacDonald, no. but you're never supposed to say the name of the Scottish king because it's a curse. Big right. Bad! Oh, oh MacDonald! 
If you notice, the people not wearing masks stare at you and give you a nasty, nasty face when you walk by, or they have to go into a shop, they have to put a mask on and they get all pissed off. What is wrong with people? It is not a political thing, it is a health thing. Did you read our stories as you were in school? The Brothers Grimm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel so out of no. Oh, Beck, I wish I had the money. I'd buy it for you. Yeah. Let's just go to the dog one. Yeah. And then next day, we'll start down there. And okay. More fire pits. Mrs. Lovett of Mrs. Lovett's Sweetie Pies. Ah. You might not have caught a Sweeney Todd, but we had a fight. So I, we're not talking about it. He wouldn't marry me, if you know what I mean. So I had to give him the boots. <laughs> Celtic, yes. Ushoban is Gaelic for owl. Okay. So this is this is my owl. Okay. And I am the druid priest of Kazanich okay. along the shores of Isilshorn. Isilshorn is the is the uh, sister city of St. Charles. Okay. Do you realize that St. Charles is a long portal of, of, of time? It's very haunted. We have many haunted spirits around here, like the haunted dogs. Have you heard of the haunted dogs? The, on Halloween, you might see the haunted dogs around the, uh, around the river here. Oh look, the horse is breathing fire. Oh, the ice cream leaving. <laughs> yeah. I think I missed the fiddler. I guess that's Lewis and Clark.
<laughs> Waldo. I found Waldo. Well, here in the, in the UK, I found Wally. Would you become a ghost with me? Yes, perfect. Well, my name is Winnie, and I own a, my own ghost hotel in the land of the dead. And so you can come, you can cross over, you can't come back, but it's a good time, I promise. But I'm also here on Main Street to tell you about some of the exciting things that once was on Main Street. Do you know any history of Main Street? A little bit. A little bit. Did you know this was once a cemetery long, long ago? No. Yes. And so they moved about almost 75% of the bodies to a new cemetery about 10 miles north. But there are still 200 to 250 bodies still buried beneath us today. Wow. So Fred lives right here and Fred likes to pop up a few bricks. So do be careful when you're walking, okay? <laughs> we can't have that. And then right over there at the building with the tall columns, with the green door, that was where they built the tombs. And if you walk inside that building, the floor is slanted towards the door because they would pull the carriages right up and just scoot the tombs right on through. Are they Percherons or are they... Uh... I am on a Shire and he's on a Clydesdale, Tennessee Walker cross. Okay. Oh, aren't they beautiful? In case of emergency, are they trained to not jump when, if, if a gunshot goes off? Yeah. <laughs> See, some people have masks and some do not. People are gonna get sick. And there's still cars coming and going. They're open till six, which is one more hour. Man alive. That was fun. I did go into a sweet shop and buy some pralines. <laughs> Shouldn't have, but I did. I want so much to stop at the pizza place that's at the end of the street up here and get a pizza. But I'm just so afraid, even that candy I just got, I'm just so afraid that people won't be healthy that are in the kitchen. So many people, at least half the people here today, and there were quite a few, did not have masks on at all grown-ups and children medium and teenagers nobody it's like they just ignore it that is why we can't get rid of anything because people perpetuate it and one guy without a mask after right as he was passing me was coughing and i'm freaking out my germaphobe me 
So when I get home, I'm going to have to wash off. I have hand wipes or baby wipes in the car, so I'm going to wipe my hands and arms and the car. <laughs> yeah. Legends and Lanterns. St. Charles is one more weekend next weekend, I think. I don't think they're doing it on Halloween, but uh, next weekend they are. Yeah. St. Charles, Missouri. Upward and onward. <laughs>